We can talk about that now. So, because we now, we, we, we were at Club Obey, we did our thing, they come get us, we're getting on the bus. We're on the bus with them um, half a dozen, no, probably a dozen other people that are that are also yeah. coming to Hito. Yeah. So, um, so, but it's about uh, an hour to a 90 minute bus ride from the airport to Negril, where hedonism is located. And um, so it's a, it's a pretty, it's a long, it's a long bus long ride. Um, and uh, you can take your drinks though from, from the bar, you get your, your complimentary uh, rum punches and beers and, and things like that. You can take it on the bus with you. But there really wasn't a place to stop and go to the bathroom, so I'll be aware of that. <laughs> yeah, so be aware of that. But um, but it was really then quite the shift. So you're driving mm -hmm. through, you know, Jamaica is not a rich country. It's a pretty mm -hmm. poor country. And you are you see all of that mm -hmm. when you drive from the airport to your fancy resort. It, it really blows my mind. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know where the other people, so, um, we haven't really visited very much of, of the area, but where Hedonism is located, it's at one end of the, what's it called, Seven Mile? I think so. Seven yeah. Mile Beach or whatever the, 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 all the area where all the fancy, you know, um, hotels and things are. Um, it's pretty, it's a long area, but this is at the tail end of, of it. So we didn't get to see a lot of that and until we went on that one excursion. Right. Um, so you, we didn't get to see all the pretty, pristine, you know, fancy landscape areas. I mean, it's just, it's just nothing, but uh, it's just, it's a, a poverty stricken yeah. country. And so um, it's amazing that, as you said, their culture, there's the, the culture is, at least in the service industry, mm -hmm. is incredibly helpful, incredibly kind. It's still their own vibe though. Oh, yeah. it definitely Sometimes is. it's like, time. you're like, am I irritating <laughs> them by asking this question? But they're still really nice about whatever it is that, you know, so. Um, yeah, but it, it's just a different. It's just it's just very 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 different. When you're yeah, and, I, and I'll and I'll say here, uh, it's it's absolutely top notch, and the people you know. I, so like I, I've made friends with all the bartenders. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, let's explain why you have made friends with all the bartenders. Well, because it's been. So I like to set an intention, you know, for everywhere that we go and everything that we do. And so I thought your intention was to have sex with well, other every, people. Well, yeah, well, obviously that. Oh, okay. That's all. But see, that's my 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 always intention. Oh, okay. So like my specific intention. That, that's that's just my you know my my background grassroots <laughs> intention. My specific intention for this week is to drink every red stripe in the country of Jamaica. And so I'm I'm. He's getting there. I'm getting there. You're getting yeah. He said <laughs> he's got to empty every keg here at the resort. So yeah. that's why all the bartenders know him by yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. So particularly they're his, they're his best yes. friends. Particularly my 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 good friend Ricardo. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah yeah, every time I see him, he's like, hey, Tristan, you know, and He even and came up to me. No, no. Oh, no. <laughs> I hear Marina, and I turn around. I'm in the middle of the line at the buffet, and I turn around, and it's this hotel staff person. He's like, hey, I know Tristan. Tristan, tell me. <laughs> he told me to come and say, or after he said, Tristan said something. I said, did he tell you to come say hello? He goes, no, not really, but he told me you were Aww. here. I just want to say hello. I love Tristan. <laughs> Because he met me with yeah. with Crimson, yeah. and so um, and so uh, yeah, he saw us together, and he's like, so uh, wait, well, yeah. And so well, I had to explain that. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, so he said, so you came here with your wife and your girlfriend, and I said, well, yeah. <laughs> oh, you're <laughs> so, the man. <laughs> oh, that's why Ricardo's like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, but then I explained. All right, well, but you know, but the, that's her husband, and and so and so you know, we're all a foursome, and he's like, oh wow, and so yeah, Aww. it was very cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. But the point being, so, I mean, the staff here is amazing, yes. and they all, yeah. you know, like, they learn your names, and it's very personalized, and they get to know you, and they get to know your preferences. Now, my preferences are pretty f easy. <laughs> yeah, they just, just give me a start beer pouring and, the beer before they see you, before you even get up there. Exactly. They see you coming. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. But, uh, yeah, it, it's... I've had the best four days here, and I we've both talked about how relaxed yeah. I am, and... Now I, I worked all day yesterday, and so I've had things, you know, blow up in my in my job. And so I basically I worked all day yesterday and, and all morning this morning. Hopefully that's passed. I'll work a little bit tomorrow. But um, but even with all of that and like a lot of really stressful things happening in my real world that's out there, 
I've been more relaxed the last four days than I than I can remember in a long time. And we have a lot of relaxing weekends at Caliente and elsewhere, but you know, I, it's it's something's different, different here. Yeah. Yeah. It's totally it's, different. Because yeah. I'm like imbued with relaxation, yeah. Yeah. which is really, really cool. Yeah. yeah. And of course, maybe the, the red stripe. Oh, I was going to say. <laughs> I, 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 the, um, amounts of red stripe. Maybe there's something in red stripe that yeah, that en- helps that vibe, man. The endless supply of red stripe I think has a lot to do with <laughs> Tristan's it. in heaven. So I, I, just oh, exactly. I just walk up and they and they they have it ready for me because they know. <laughs> it's just awesome. So so and so for those who don't know, hedonism is a an all inclusive resort, and so yeah, okay. when you when you come here. Everything's available, and the food's available. There are yeah. what, three different restaurants, four different restaurants. Um, a buffet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the buffet all uh, the time. Yeah. There's all, four. Yeah. yeah, four restaurants because with the with the grill yeah. and the. Basically, yeah. it's like a stationary cruise ship. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That's yeah. A really that's good. That's exactly a, what it's like. Which I suspect a lot of the other um, resorts and things like yeah, you like this are. Do, yeah. I, we haven't. We just haven't had a lot of experience right. in these types of places because we don't tend to gravitate towards busy touristy places we mm-hmm. where they pick the slanted beach house banana boat river <laughs> right. house you know or get chased <laughs> off by a hurricane where you're gonna yep. get yep. swallowed up that's our <laughs> more of our regular weekends uh-huh. so yeah. this is this is not normal for us so um so yeah but i wanted to explain a little bit too about so at hedonism they have the nude side and the prude side mm-hmm. but the whole place is clothing, clothing option. Option. you can be yeah. nude yeah. anywhere right. but if you're on the nude side you have to be nude on the nude side and um and so that's i would i don't know i would i was gonna say i would call that the swinger side but i i don't really yeah. know that it's the swinger I side because the whole is. resort probably yeah. is very it may open. be more of a party vibe over there i think it I think is think more a of a party vibe louder so we stayed on the prude side this time because uh well it was more economical and um and we didn't know what we were getting into so we thought well let's just kind of split the difference and we'll get an ocean view like on the prude side mm-hmm. and um and the sides are kind of split in the middle by the main dining hall the pool the big the gym the kind of the, the central core of the facility and then you have the two different sides and um we were talking about it we have really enjoyed being on the prude side yeah I mean, I we have, have really surprising. enjoyed it we go over to the nude side every night and and the hot tub opens it's closed in the evening from like 7 to 11 so for cleaning and maintenance and stuff and then they open it back up at seven at night and the grill is open and you get food till 5 a.m i think over Ele- there yeah. open, it opens it back up at 11, 11 p.m yeah, yeah and it stays open yeah, and, and you get um, food and yeah yep. and, and, and until five so we've been going over there in the evenings a hot tub over there and stuff like that but it is it's definitely a different it's vibe different, but i yeah. like coming back over it, here because it just is a little I you're like beach, you leave the party and right, come back over here the, to right, the quiet chill the quiet. side yeah and i think the beach is bigger here i think you're right yeah yeah, yeah. yeah it's a yeah. little more spread out the focus is the pool over there yeah mm-hmm. that's true not so much the beach right right yeah. so it's that's a cool pool they have a swim up bar yeah, oh, yeah i love really that cool. that's you true. like that oh well, yeah because <laughs> i don't have to get out right i can just like and again they see him swimming up they're like pour that you beer go. Here you go. Right, tristan's coming pour two red straight <laughs> actually i do ask for two a lot of times so so um so we got here on saturday Saturday night, by the time we actually got here, it was later in the evening. We had a great evening Saturday night. Sunday was our first full day. Mm-hmm. What did we do on Sunday? Gosh, it's been... Almost th- Saturday night, we went to Hito Wido. Oh, Oh, that's yes. right, that's right. Yes, we did. <laughs> so, yes, we went to Hito Wido uh, when we got here. We did not bring... Well, Phoenix, Phoenix and I both have our medical marijuana cards, and so he brought a, a couple things from from the u.s but we didn't bring anything because we didn't want to obviously enter the country with something that you shouldn't enter the country with so but um hedonism has a weed dispensary on property so we get there and we ask them something about like what can you buy well you have to have your medical marijuana card luckily i happen to have mine in my wallet the good news is if you don't have one for 15 whole dollars <laughs> they will get you certified for i guess your jamaican medical card or whatever <laughs> that looks like they will get you approved so um, in about 15 whole seconds in about 15 whole seconds like as long as it takes you to pay that 15 whole dollars so um not a huge stumbling block if you don't have your card 
But uh, but yeah, so we went to the pharmacy and stocked up, and we got a couple of we got a couple of joints, which felt it still feels like so high school and like you know so weird. Uh, and then a couple of vape pens, and then um, oh, and then we got a, a chocolate mushroom bar yep. that our friends had recommended. A single serving size. A single serving <laughs> that was about the size. Do you remember the chunky candy bars? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. it reminds me <clears throat> of. Those chunky that just that square it was that square chocolate bar mm -hmm. um yeah that's so weird that i would remember that chocolate but anyways that's what that reminded that's what that shape that size that it reminded me of so yeah so we got that so that set us up for the rest of the week well yeah mm -hmm. we're still working on it we'll yeah. probably end up yeah, yeah. some here we're we don't end up smoking a lot but um but it's been great we've been doing a lot of other things too so on Sunday, did we do anything on Sunday? Did we teach our first class Sunday? We did. Yes. Yes. Yeah, so okay. Did. So that was Sunday. Oh, that's Sunday. right. Yeah, that was the rope. Yeah. 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 Rope. yeah. So that was Sunday, and we took a rope class, and we met some other yep. rope people, and so that's been very fun. And yeah. our rope class was a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. um, and anything else on Sunday? It's been the first couple of days, by the way, have been very overcast, and it actually rained for a couple hours during the day yeah, on yeah. like every day mm -hmm. except today today was the today very was first day right. it was cloudy mm -hmm. and overcast I don't but think it, it was more rained. sunny yeah right. a little bit more sunny mm -hmm. yeah which so was great because so uh, been, thank goodness yeah and we so you know we lived in miami for a long time and so we're very accustomed to from like may 15th until october 15th mm -hmm. it rains every day at three or four o'clock in the afternoon like really fucking hard and then it goes away and so we're used to that kind of tropical you know weather pattern but yeah, really, for the first, it's been cloudy all day, which is unusual. Right. And so today really was the first day. I think that you know we had a, a nice sunny day, which is great, and we'll get there in a second yeah. for the reason why. Yeah. But um, although yeah, uh, the well, we'll talk about our excursions, but yeah, we did have sun and and, and nice weather up. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. 